pre-stressed concrete. Introduction The concrete is weak in tension, therefore different techniques are used to overcome this shortcoming. Shaping structure to take primarily compressive force. Example. Arch-shaped concrete structures. Shells. By using a material, which is strong in tension to resist tensile stresses. Example. Reinforced concrete. The main difference between reinforced and pre-stressed concrete, PC, is the fact that reinforced concrete combines concrete and steel bars by simply putting them together and pre-stressed concrete. On the other hand, combines high-strength concrete with high-strength steel in an active manner. Steel is ductile and now is made to act in high tension by pre-stressing. Concrete is a brittle material with its tensile capacity is not really harmed. Pre-stressing Pre-stressing can be defined as the application of predetermined force or moment to a structural member in such a manner. Application of pre-stressed concrete Pre-stressed concrete can be used for almost all types of structural elements. Such as bridges, water tanks, floor systems in buildings, electrical poles, railway sleepers, piles etc. Basic principles of pre-stressed concrete In the most common from of pre-stressed concrete structures, pre-stressing reinforcement provides initial stresses. Controlled in magnitude and direction for counterbalancing the stresses resulting from external loading to a desired degree. Pre-tensioning, shorter span. The term pre-tensioning is used to describe any method of pre-stressing in which the tendons are tensioned before the concrete is placed. In pre-tensioning the pre-stressing tendons, wires strands are stretched to a predetermined tension and anchored to fixed bulkheads or abutments then concrete is poured around the tendons once concrete is hardened the end anchorages are released post tensioning longer span in contrast to pre tensioning Post-tensioning is a method of pre-stressing in which the tendon is tensioned after the concrete has hardened. Thus the pre-stressing is almost always performed against the hardened concrete. Concrete members are cast with ducts inside. When the concrete gets hardened, pre-stressing is done by jacking the steel tendons against the concrete member ends. The jacking force is transferred to concrete at end blocks by special anchorages. Here are some basic principles of pre-stressed concrete. Mechanical pre-stressing by means of jacks. Electrical pre-stressing by applying heat. Chemical pre-stressing. Circular pre-stressing. Stage stressing. Only in post-tension. Advantages and disadvantages of pre-stressed concrete There are many advantages and some disadvantages. Advantages Pre-stressed concrete uses high-strength steel and high-quality concrete. Thus, it takes advantage of materials with superior qualities and, everything else being equal needs smaller quantities of materials than reinforced concrete. In pre-stressed concrete, the entire concrete section is active in resisting the load. While in reinforced concrete only the uncracked part of the section is active. Pre-stressed concrete members are lighter, more slender, and aesthetically more appealing than their reinforced concrete counterparts. Their lighter weight is particularly important in long-span girders and bridges where the dead load is dominant design factor. As pre-stressed concrete is crackles.
it provides better protection than reinforced concrete against corrosion of the steel in aggressive environments and is more suitable for fluid retaining structures such as tanks and nuclear vessels. Pre stressed concrete, fully or partially, provides means for effective deflection control, especially under long term sustained loading. Pre-stressed concrete has better shear resistance than reinforced concrete due to the slope of the tendons near the supports. Steel and cement required a one half and one quarter respectively as compared to that required for reinforced concrete section. Because of the skilled technique and special equipment, the utility of pre-stressing is particularly useful for very large spans. Disadvantages High degree of quality control of materials, design and workmanship is required. Otherwise long-term creep leads to pre-stressing loss. Extra cost of special equipment required to carry out stressing activities. Initial capital cost of high. More attention to design is involved, and more supervision is necessary. The amount of additional work will depend on the experience of the engineer and the construction crew, but it will not be serious if the same typical design is repeated many times. Comparison between pre-stressed and reinforced concrete As a general comparison between the two mediums under consideration it is usually found that up to 6 meters span traditional reinforced concrete is the most economical method. Spans between 6 meters and 9 meters the two mediums are compatible. Over 9 meters span pre-stressed concrete is generally more economical than reinforced concrete. Thank you. Please like, comment and share this video. Subscribe, Educate Today, YouTube channel for more civil engineering contents.